will you turn it down? I'm trying to do some work. I've got to listen to End of It. Well, then get some headphones or something, because this ain't fair. Oh, don't tell me you're listening to this rubbish at all. I'm trying not to. Right, well, I'm Medina. Come on, let's go and get a sign here somewhere. Yeah, I might as well. Is that you sleeping down here last night? I was going out to do with you. Oh, that's it now. OK, you want to cut yourself off? Cut yourself off. Just don't blame me when nobody wants out to do with you. Come on, Nick. Funny lad, isn't he? Oh, come on, he is. That his brother is entitled to get upset. Oh, no, look. Zoe, you all right? I'll see to her. You go without me. Zoe, love. Careful, you hang on a sec. I'll go and see if I can rouse the cavalry. Sure, yeah. It reminded you of Shannon, did it? I just walked out and you were like, you're happening all over again. It's for Des. Des Barnes. Didn't you know they're burying him today? Did you know that it died? Yeah. I just didn't expect it. Of course you didn't. Gary said you saw Des's funeral and got all upset. It reminded her of Shannon. I should have warned her. I didn't think on. It's not your fault. Right, uh, we best be going. Yeah, yeah. I'll look after her now. Well, thanks very much. It's very kind of you. Don't be silly. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. There's no rush. Take care, Zoe. See you See later. You. Yeah. See you. And thanks again. All right. Can I get you a cup of tea or something? I don't want out from you. I want Ruth. Sorry, Ruth's not here. I am. I'm going to ring her. Hiya. Zoe saw Des Barnes' funeral and got all upset. Made her think of Shannon. Right. Look, I've told you you can go. You don't have to stop. OK, then I will. Oh, it's all right. She don't want you either. She wants her real friends, Ben and Ruth from Foundation. Only they're not just there right now. She's gonna put up with me instead. Only I think I'm making things worse. So best get back to the shop. We really let you down, didn't we? Not being here yesterday when you needed us. Well, you couldn't help it. Not if you had to go to this thing. The Council of Nirab. It's like a monthly get together. I just. Well, I needed to talk to someone about how we were feeling and. There were nobody that I could. Hey, well, we're here now. It made me realise how... Well, how different I am. How far you've travelled. And how there's no one here I can talk to anymore. Hi, oh, Ashley. How are hey. you? It's not as much me, it's Zoe. Just called back to see how she were. I think she's feeling a lot better now. Now I've got someone here that understands. Well, happen you tell them more than you do me? How am I supposed to understand when you just shut me out all the time? Well, maybe it's you doing the shutting out, Ashley. Have you thought about that? No, I haven't. Mostly I've thought how better off we'd be if you two were shut out permanent. He is just so negative. And notice the one who's walking away and the ones who are staying. I just came out like this and Earth were right there. Don't know how you can still live here in this street. Well, go back to the foundation. You can have some time on your own there. Zoe? How are you? I'm fine, thanks, yeah. Uh, Judy stayed with me yesterday. Thank you, Judy. It's OK. But we'll look after her now. Well, if she wants you to. Are you sure you're all right? Yeah. How are your babies? They're fine, thank you. The soul of the unborn child is the purest there is. Nirab says it'd be better for them if they never had to encounter this world but went straight on to the next. Anyway, take care. I'll see you later. I 
Sally Keelan. Hello, love. I was hoping you'd be here. What's up? I just met up with Zoe and two of them religious people that she's taken up with. And they said that it'd be best if my babies died and then... Oh, I don't know. Then at least I'd go straight to heaven. They said what? I couldn't believe anyone could say that. Oh, yeah. Hiya. Sorry, Ashley. How's Zoe? I don't know, really. I thought you might have been there. Well, if she's gone out, then it's something, innit? Not really. That Ben and Ruth have been for it again. Oh, Ashley, why do you just tell her it's a load of old rubbish and that they're turning her into a zombie? Uh, Leanne. Well, they are. I can't talk to her. I don't know about you. Well, yeah, I do, because I've seen a duvet down here. Look, it's none of our business, is it? I've tried talking to her. It's just hopeless. I don't... Hey, you'll never guess what's happened. What? Les has been taken into hospital with a poisoned foot. Is that supposed to be funny? No. Look, come and ask me, Mum, if you don't believe me. She's been to see him. Right, yeah, well, she wants us to go. Right, well, come on, then. Come on. Poisoned foot? He's lucky. We always it's a poisoned mind. It's the thing about women. All over you when they need you, when they want you to do something, when they don't, forget it. I know. Well, I'm going to be the same. I'm not going to get involved. I don't know if I could do that, mate. Right, then. Who wants a drink? Go on, you talk me into it. Cheers. Ashley. Hi. I don't know whether I should get you one or not. Do you know that your missus upset my missus today? Three pints, please, Lorraine. Right. Who's Zoe ass? Yeah. Her and her mates came up to Judy and said that it'd be better if her babies went straight to heaven or something. I mean, what kind of talk is that? Especially to somebody in Judy's condition. I'm sorry. Well, don't be sorry. Shut her up. Can you not stop her from doing it again? No, I can't. I'm sorry for what she said and tell Judy that, but honest. I can't stop her. I don't even know how to talk to her anymore. Well, I didn't think you'd take it like that. I wasn't sounding too happy before you come in. You better stop it too, love. Are you going to see Ben and Ruth today? Of course. Gary told me what happened yesterday with Judy. What? All this talk about little babies and how Judy ought to practice what this nerd bloke's teaching. What about it? So with Judy's a mum-to-be. She ought to be upset. You've scared her. We were trying to help her. Well, you didn't. Gary said she were really freaked out over it. She's got no need to be frightened. Not if she does what Nirab says. Well, that's just it, the isn't it? Doing what Nirab says. You can't go forcing weird stuff like this down people's throats. It's not weird stuff, not really. It makes sense. Maybe to you it does, but not to the rest of us. You can't carry on doing what you're doing. People will take you down as some kind of nutter. Oh, like they do it already. Anyway, why should I give a toss what people think? I just want you to be careful, Zoe. You don't want to lose your friends. Why? What do I need them for anyway? Tea up. Thanks. Now, are you going to tell me what's on your mind? You've been mooching around this shop all morning like a lost lamb. It's Zoe. <laughs> Funny. I thought it might be. It's ever since she's got with this religious lot. She don't seem the same anymore. Cause more trouble in the world than anything you can put a name to, religion has. Funny, when it's supposed to help people. Ah, but it's not right, though. Is this after what Gary were on about? About what they said to Judy? Mostly, yeah. It's just all they're using Shannon to... Well, I don't know, to trap her. Like she's being brainwashed. Brainwashed? Oh, come on now, Ashley. Well, I don't know what else to call it, Maud. I think she's coming out with it. It's just not Zoe. Well, if you're that wound up about it, what are you going to do? I don't know. Maybe you ought to find out about these folk for yourself. When's the next meeting? Tonight. So, tell Zoe you want to go with her. Well, well, if it's some sort of religious group, they can hardly complain at you going along, can they? Churches are always looking for new flock. I don't know what you dragged me in here for. I don't even like pubs. I just want to talk to you for half hour, that's all. What about? Well, you've got another meeting tonight, haven't you? Yeah, so? So I want to come with you. What? Well, it's all right, isn't it? Well, what for? What do you want to come for? Well, I've been thinking, answer about what you've been saying. And... Well, I mean... I was a bit quick knock it, wasn't I? Yeah, you were. So I want to see for myself. You want to join? Perhaps. 
be. You'd have to give up me. What did your Uncle Fred say about that? He can say what he's like. This is about me. And you. It's got nothing to do with his butcher's shop. So what do you say? Can I come? Yeah. Of course you can. Ashley, are you really going to this meeting with Zoe? Yes, I am. You want your head looking at? We'll see. Anyway, what are you doing tonight? I thought I'd bring a surprise on Nick. Something nice and romantic. Oh, I can't wait to see his face when he sees me. Nice. Hey, I tell you what, Ashley. If you come here rumming and chanting one night, me and Nick will be out like a shot. Oh, look, Leanne, it's not that. You ready? Yeah. You got clean socks on? Wash behind your ears. My socks are all right, Zoe, yes. Sure they've got no oils in or anything, cos you know you've got to take your shoes off. Well, you stop all this fussing and let's get on with it. Well, come on. Ben, look who brought with me. Evening. Have you gone crazy, Zoe? What's wrong? He wanted to come. He's an outsider. He doesn't believe. Well, he's changed his mind. He wants to learn. Mm, I bet he does. Nothing all right, is it? Uh, it's just we weren't expecting you, Ashley. Newcomers are normally invited to our meetings. Oh, well, Zoe invited me, practically. No, I meant by me. Oh, I see. Well, anyway, I'm here now. Yeah, but... And it's not as if you've anything to add, is it? No. Of course not. Welcome. Release your impurities to me, Naomi. Give them unto my safe hands in Nirab's name. Release those evil thoughts you try to hide, those bad, bad things you've done. Let them go. Let me free you. Release yourself to me. Abandon yourself to Nirab and the eternal spirit. Yes, yes. I've had enough of this. I've got one. It's all right. You're playing at. Well, the weirdos, you're not right in head. You lied to me, didn't you? You come me to get in there tonight. What's going on in there? It's not right. It's not normal. Oh, yeah, and you know everything, don't you? You really know about stuff. I know what they're trying to do, and I won't let them. Grow up, Ashley. They're my friends. That's why you can't stand them. My friends, and you don't fit in. They're nutters, and you're finished with them. And you're not going back in there again. Well, look, who the hell do you think you are? I love you, Zoe. Well, then you better not make me choose between them and you. Because I'm telling you, Ashley, you'll regret it. You will. Ashley, do these beans taste as good as expensive ones? On it, girls are dead fussy. I suppose so. The beans, aren't they? All quality goods on these shelves, Sally Love. But if you want flavour as well as fiver, you have to pay the penny or two extra. Right, thanks, friend. What's got into our Ashley this morning? Folk go to supermarkets if they want to be served by them as good and give a monkeys. They expect a bit of friendly service in a corner shop. He's got a lot on his mind, poor lad. Yeah. It's Zoe and those new friends of hers. Oh. You know, Maud, I sometimes think that life has run out of surprises for me. Talking about running out, there's a discrepancy in stock here I can't make head and a tail of. Oh, that'll be down to food parcels. Pardon? I must be losing my hearing. What was that you just said? Food parcels for Zoe's friends to hand out to the homeless. Food parcels? This is a corner shop, not the flaming United Nations. Is this Ashley's? Of course it is. Fred, it was just damaged stock. There's no such thing as damaged stock, Maud. Only discounted special offers. Ashley! Ashley, come out here now! Or are you negotiating a Red Cross airlift of mushy peas? What is it, Uncle Fred? A review of your charitable spirit, Ashley, in Rovers, this dinner. Shift. She's been going for weeks now, Uncle Fred, and they've got some really weird ideas. Aye, I've read about groups like that in Sunday papers. Full of well-endowed virgins in diaphanous white robes, they are. Come on, Uncle Fred, this is serious. I'm really worried about Zoe. This Ben and Rufus is only using Shannon to suck her in. Shannon? How? that Zoe will be able to speak to her. I see. I can't talk to her anymore, Uncle Fred. I've told her not to go and see him anymore, but she practically threatened to leave me. 
Well, actually, the question you've got to ask yourself is, is she happy with them? Whatever you might think, is she content? She's not got a mind of her own, Uncle Fred. Says you. Face it, Ashley, you can't run young Zoe's life for her. If maybe she's found some happiness, I say some contentment, after losing her little baby like that, maybe you should just let her get on with it. All right, are you? Yeah, why wouldn't I be? I'm drinking water. Have you got something against me drinking water now, have you? No, I thought maybe you had an headache or so much. Have you had some pills? If I had, I wouldn't be taking any pills. They pollute your body. Right, I'm going out. I don't know what time I'll be back. I'll see you later. See ya. Look, so I thought we could go out for at night. You know, watch a film and have a bit of a meal after. Can't. Ben and Ruth are coming for me. We're doing soup run. So it. It's all right doing this soup run and helping homeless. It's all right, but... You don't want forgetting how to have a bit of fun, do you? And that's what you call being sat in dark for two hours, watching people blow each other apart, is it? Well, watch a comedy then, anything you like, I don't care. No. And you can forget about meal and all. I'm on a fast. What for? Tomorrow night. I'm going to be purified. You what? Ben's going to hold me purification ceremony. I'm really going to be one of them. You know, Maud. This foundation lot are a rum bunch. All that humming and talking about dead babies makes me shiver. I say, makes me shiver. Ashley's really worried about Zoe. I know. And she's not the one to listen to other folks' advice. She does what she wants, that one. Oh, you're right there. Well, if she wants to believe in all these fanciful ideas, well, that's up to her. What I don't want is Ashley getting hurt in process. Already are you? Yeah. Uh... Where's Ben? Oh, he, uh, he has some other important work he has to take care of tonight. Oh, like what? Oh, nothing for you to worry about. Have you been keeping to your fast? You know how important it is for the purification ceremony. She's had nothing all day. And she's gonna be out all night. She's freezing. It's not right. There's nothing to worry about, Ashley. Whatever you say, Ruth. I'll oh, just leave it, will you, Ashley? Zoe's inner energy will sustain her, Ashley. There's a spiritual fire inside of her which is stronger than the warmth of any food. Come on, Zoe. It's all right, I'm coming, I'm coming. Hello, Ashley. You just missed him. Zoe and Ruth left quarter of an hour ago. I know, it's it's you I wanted to see, Ashley. How far? I think it's time we talked in detail. I know what you're up to, Ashley. Don't think you're too clever for me. I don't know what you're talking about. I meet people like you every day, non-believers. The world's full of them. Small-minded little people who think they know it all. If you've come round here, have a go, you can just get out now. Why? That's exactly what you came for last night when you visited the Foundation, to have a go. I came to see for myself. And what's going on with Zoe? Are you satisfied, were you? That's hard enough, yeah. To understand everything, to make your mind up. No, I don't understand it. I don't understand any of it, and neither does Zoe. And that's who I care about. You care about? The only person you care about, Ashley, is yourself. Zoe's nothing more than a possession to you, is she? Get out! I've had enough of this and I've had a gut full of your flaming foundation. What are you gonna do about it, Ashley? You're gonna throw me out? You're gonna hit me? You're gonna lock Zoe in the bedroom that she doesn't want to share with you anymore? I'll not tell you again, Ben. All right. I'll go. You listen to me, Ashley. You've got no right to dictate what Zoe believes. Leave her alone. She's much better off without you. Thought you might have been having a lie in. Got a load of reading to do. Did I wait you coming in last night? No. Time, would it? 
We've gone two. Many customers? About 20. Three easy. Aye. I had a visitor after you'd gone. Oh, yeah? Who were that? Oh, you don't know? Well, why would I? I just thought you might. It were your pal, Ben. What did he want? Me out the way. How do you mean? I'm a bad influence. And guess what? I'm negative. What's he, an electrician or something? He's all right. If flaming isn't, is an head case. And if you go along with these daft ideas, you'll be one and all. Look, he's not harming anyone. Except you. I don't want you mixing with them anymore. Oh, don't you? No. I mean it. Just jack it in now for your own sake. I've told you I'm being purified tonight. All I've learned, everything I've worked for, it all leads up to tonight. I can't just throw all that away, can I? You must. Ashley, why can't you just treat me like a grown-up instead of telling me what to do? I know my own mind. Ah, but do you? Yeah. Oh, I've got to get back to the shop. You don't own me, you know. No. And neither does that, Ben. So? Well, he talks like he does. You do. I've only got five minutes and I've got to get back. Can we talk about this when I get home from work? If you like. Won't make any difference, sir. Well, if you just postpone it, then. It's what I want. I know it is. But I don't think you've thought through what you're really letting yourself in for. It's a big step, this ceremony. I know. And I'm ready for it. Well, I don't think you are. So can we talk about it before you go? Do you promise? Right. See you later. Hiya, Rich. Hiya. Hiya. Zoe about? No, she went out about ten minutes ago. And did she say where? That Ruth came for her. She said she'd be back late. You're kidding. Bring forward our sister. Zoe, do you understand the teachings of our founder? Yes. And do you wish to become a daughter of Nirab? Yeah. And follow his paths for the rest of eternity? I do. That you may find his everlasting peace and fulfilment and be reunited with those that have gone before. I do. So shall it be. Coming home with me. Can you not see what he's up to, what he's after? Well, get your coat on! <coughs> get off me! Get off me, Leave you. him! Ashley, what's all this about? What are you doing to her? Let's be calm about this. This is Zoe's big day. Let's not spoil it for her. I'm not talking to you. Come on, Zoe. No one's keeping her. 
She's free to leave if she likes, and if she does, we'll not contact her. This is Zoe's decision. Not yours, and not mine. Zoe, come with me. Come with me now, please. I'm sorry if that phone call went you up. Couldn't sleep any road. All right. Anyway, it looks like Les is going to be all right. Nan's going to stay at the hospital for a bit with Janice, so why don't you go on back to bed for now? Not with Zoe, not home. You know, she went out last night with that roof. You saw she could join the group. To be purified. I've been trying to put her off it, and she promised me she won't go till we had another talk. Any road I went after her watched it. And what happened? It was more creepy than I thought. What, you mean you actually got right in there? I saw them all stood there in a circle, dressed in white, making stupid noises, and that creeped Ben. What? I'm scared of what they're doing to her, Nick. I'm just scared full stop, aren't you, Ashley? So we. Yeah, we can all sneak up and spy on people, you know. Well, where have you been all night? With my friends, where I wanted to be. You mean with that Ben, don't you? I mean with Ben and with Ruth and Naomi. Don't pretend to me, Zoe. I saw you snogging him. Snogging? I saw you. Ashley, you only saw what your impure mind made you see. Cos you don't understand. So how did you and him see it, then? I think what you like. I'm glad you're home. Be off again tonight. Tonight? Purification's just part of it, Ashley. Now I'm a daughter of Nirab, I've got to go on a retreat. Where is this retreat? St Lakes. Have you an address? Well, I don't need one, do I? Because we're all going together. You can't just go without leaving me an address. Why? In case they kidnap me or something? In case of out. You're so full of nasty thoughts, Ashley. Look, Ben and Ruth, they've given me something to really hope for, something to believe in. And them asking me to go on this retreat, well, it's an honour. Well, what's it for? To meet Nirab. He's coming to England to see his children, and because I'm newest, I have to be first to welcome him. Well, there must be a phone number at this place. Ashley, it's a retreat for retreating to. It's not a hotel. You're not supposed to be able to get in contact with us because we need peace and quiet. So we don't go. I'm going. So we please. I'm really worried about this. Must be really sad to be like you, Ashley. So suspicious. It's just like what Ben says. People who need Nirab most, they're always last to know it. If you want a weekend in Lakes, we can get together. We can stay at Mrs. Wilton's. <sighs> You're just not hearing me, are you, Ashley? I'm saying if you want to get Ashley, away from... Do you want Zoe to be happy? Of course you want that. Then why do you want to stop her from meeting her spiritual leader? Zoe, tell Ashley what it means to you to meet Nira. Ashley, you've got to believe me. This means a million times more to me than just going away. And if you love me, you should be really glad for me. I'm not trying to put me off. You have to stop being so suspicious of us, Ashley. No harm is going to come to Zoe. Only fulfilment now, please. Let her go in peace. Be happy for me. A retreat? What's that mean when it's at home? It means they've now better to do with their time. So they're going to sit around thinking about why we're here and where we're going next. I do that myself. Mostly in company of a bottle of scotch. I don't have to go up a mountain to do it. It's that lad I'm sorry for. They don't seem to have much thought for him these days. Well, you never know. She might get put off the idea. I mean, the Lake District ain't really so is it? Yeah, she'll probably call Mountain Rescue out to bring us some fags. Well, it's not where she is. 
It's who she's with. Oh, well, it's your own fault, then. You should have put your foot down and said that she can't go. And you think she'd have took any notice? Well, then kick her out. Say she can't live here anymore. Leanne. Well, what's she doing here, anyway? She don't pay rent, does she? She's only here because she's with him. I think we're all right till she started this foundation thing. Now it's as if she's been took over. Oh, well, let him take over. Good riddance, that's what I say. Right, I'm after my dad. Do you come in? No, I don't think I should if he has gone and got Martin suspended. Well, what difference does he make? Well, think about it. I don't look like I'm taking sides, do I? No, what you mean is that you are taking sides and it's Martin's side you're taking. Right, I'll go by myself then. Oh, come off it, See Lee. Ya. I hate this being in love. He's like being under a spell. And sometimes he hates her. If else she's treating me, he hates her. But I can't tell her go. Because I love her. No, I know you feel, mate. Do you, though? It's no good. I can't start wondering what these people are doing to my Zoe. Well, see here, Ashley. She went with him of her own accord. I know, but they've got her that mixed up. She doesn't know what's right anymore. Well, if we're talking straight, she never did have much grasp of right and wrong. Oh, well, that's true. You must admit that, Ashley. Well, it don't stop me being worried about her. No. Well, that does your heart more credit than your head. No, Maud's right. She's no good for you. No, I never said that. No, because you were being tactful. I know that, Maud. She's no good for you, Ashley, love. She never will be. All right. Don't we start putting dinner on? What's that? I found this on the summer's always clothes. What is it? A diary. Ashley should go mad if she finds you reading that. She's gone mad already. It's not a diary, it's more like... It's letters, letters to Shannon. Ashley, calm down. So she's writing things down, so what? I can understand that. It's just like writing down what you say to Shannon if she was still alive. Oh, well, listen. Listen to this. We aren't separated forever, Shannon. One day we'll be together. You and me together again. I'll be with each other. Lots of people believe in an afterlife. I might myself, I'm not sure, but all religions talk about this sort of thing. I count the days till we are united. Till then, Nirab will keep you safe for me. And Ben will keep me safe with the love of Nira. Ben will keep me safe. What the hell does that mean? And it goes on and on like this, over and over. All right, it does sound a bit weird. It's these Foundation people. They've got her not knowing which way's up. Yeah, but she's going to be back tomorrow, isn't she? If she comes back. You check or what? And your face is good for trade and all. You want to keep an eye on that one? She could give Paul Daniels a lesson or two in how to make things vanish. I couldn't care less. I've got more things to worry about than a couple of tins of baked beans. It's always back today. Well, that's good, isn't it? Well, trouble is, I don't know what I expect. This Ben and Ruth, they've had it all to themselves. They've been putting all kinds of rubbish into her head. Hey, some more told you about Greg and Sally. They split up. So I see. I've missed you. Have you? Yeah, I have. But you look great. Did you have a good time? Yeah, it was brilliant. Good, good. I'm glad. Can I get you some tea or something? Listen, Ashley. We've got to have a talk. Oh, yeah. What about? I've been chosen. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Chosen by Nirab. To have a baby. A baby. What are you talking about, Zoe? It's a big honour. There's only a few of us in the world. 
daughters of Nirab chosen to have babies before the final day? Oh, yeah. So who will you be having this baby with, then? Because the way things are going lately, it ain't me, is it? The whole idea is that these babies are pure. But what's that mean? From within the foundation. It's sick. Ashley, can't you understand? I miss Shannon. I want another baby. Then we'll have one. We'll have a baby together if that's what you want. No, Ashley. That's not what I want. It's Ben, isn't it? That's who Favre will be. It's none of your business. None of my business? You're my girlfriend, Zoe. Well, at least you were till he's not got inside your head. Ashley, can't you get it into your thick skull? It's got nothing to do with sex. Oh, well, if you believe that, then you really have got your brain washed. No. It's sex. That's what it's about. This pure spirit rubbish, it's a con. A sick, dirty trick, a load of crap to get you in bed with him. How can you be so stupid, Zoe? I'm not being stupid. It's what I want to do. Already made a start, have you? Hey, why have you been away on this retreat? Been at it for Nirab, have you? Oh, you're sick. I saw you, Zoe. I saw you kissing him through the window. Well, you shouldn't have been spying on me then, should you? I've had enough of this. Ben Warmish shouldn't have bothered coming back. I wish I'd have listened to him. Where are you going? To get me stuff. I can't take this anymore, Ashley. Look, we were finished a long time ago. Now I'm moving out. I'm going where I belong. I had to get from across the road, Martin. And... Ashley, what's wrong? I'm leaving. Why? Where are you going? Well, can't you guess? She's had enough of me. Nick, what do you think you're playing at? What? What's going on? I'm going to live with Foundation. It's where I belong. What, with them nutters? We'll tell her the rest of it. Go on, Zoe. She's going to have a baby with them. What? Look, you won't understand. Ben will be waiting for me. Ashley, thanks, you know, for everything in the past. Everything all right? Yeah. No, Zoe, you can't do it! Zoe, please don't leave me. You don't know what you're doing. Let go, Ashley. Sophie's Let her go, Ashley. She doesn't want you anymore. We all know what you're doing. Get off me! Get off me! You can't make her stay all right! You can't! No! No! Don't leave me! No! You're all right, Ashley. You look like death warmed up. I haven't slept a wink. I'm still thinking about Zoe. She'll not come back from a mini break. It's no joking matter, Gary. They filled her head with all sorts, so you wait till you get latest. Two teas, please. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. While she was away on this retreat, she didn't phone her anything for three days. I weren't even allowed to call her. No contact. She's back now, though. Ah, but she were different. I could tell as soon as she walked through the door. Different in what way? It's hard to describe. <laughs> Distant. I want to try talking to her and asking her what she'd been up to. She tells me that Nirab wants her to have another baby. You're joking. No doubt the wonderful Ben will be lined up far from it. What are they playing at? She tells me she can't stay with me anymore and packs her bags and goes. She's moved out. She can't live at Foundation. It sounds dead sinister, all this. It's as if they've got some kind of hold over her. And while she's away, I mean, I know I shouldn't have done it, but I looked through one of her diaries and I found letters to... Who? Letters to Shannon. What are you going to do? Well, I know what I'd do. I'd go straight down to the police. The police? Well, what can they do? Well, you tell them a bunch of weirdos are... are conning a, a young girl, taking her away from her family and friends. It can't be legal. Yeah, you're right. I mean, at the very least, I need reporting. Go down there this morning. I'll come with you if you like. Would you? Well, we've got to do something, Ashley. We can't just let them take her away like that. No, you're right. Do you think this is a good idea? They'll probably just laugh at me. Well, they might, but what else are you going to do? So what do we say? Tell them that your girlfriend's been abducted by a bunch of weirdos. Well, she hasn't been abducted. She went off her own free will. Well, then tell them that she's been recruited into a religious cult and you're frightened that she might be in danger. Do you want me to do the talking? No, you're OK. It's about my girlfriend. She's joined a cult, a religious cult. 
I'm really worried about her. Do you want to let me deal with this? OK, then. Would you like to come through? I haven't heard anybody laugh yet. OK, Ashley, could you give me your girlfriend's name, please? So we chat And uh, date of birth? 13th of the 9th, 1981. And where does Zoe live? She lives with me, number four, Coronation Street. It's Weatherfield. So you know all about him, don't you, this foundation? We know about them all right. They've been recruiting in this area for about a year. They've also got groups in Bristol, Edinburgh and Birmingham that we know of. Fairly well organised, then. Very well organised. And very persuasive, going by the amount of uh, parents we get in here complaining that their youngsters have upped sticks. Their technique is quite subtle, you see. They tend to go for young men and women who are a little unstable or impressionable. I can see that I've struck a chord. So we lost a baby earlier this year. Oh. Well, that really gave him something to get the teeth into. They're very careful not to reveal their identity until they've won you over with their friendship. Well, that's exactly what happened to Zoe. She met a couple of them while we were out clubbing, and all of a sudden they were the best mates. The technique's known as love bombing. Love bombing? Yeah. Showering the potential recruit with affection. Making them feel really special. I mean, I wasn't worried at first. I was just glad she made some friends. Yeah. Well, that's the general idea. Then they start to take over your life. Before you know it, they've whisked you off to some retreat where they can really go to town. Well, what do you mean, exactly? Well, they start to deprive you of your privacy. And your sleep. You're not even allowed to go to the toilet. But why? Well, it helps to make you more susceptible to their doctrines and values. Brainwashing, you mean? In a word, yes. But why? What are they doing it for? Well, as far as we know, Nairab is just a businessman on a power trip. The more devoted acolytes it gets on board, the better. There may be a more sinister agenda, but we've not uncovered it. I can't believe it. Ashley, you said that Zoe first met the cult members when she was out clubbing. You don't happen to remember the names. Ben Andrews and Ruth... Morgan. Yeah. Right. These two seem to be in charge of recruiting. Ben Andrews is actually quite high up in the pecking order. Bit of a ladies' man. All in the name of the teachings of Nairab, of course. It's all a big con. How come you haven't stopped them or closed them down? They're not actually doing anything illegal. Certainly nothing we can prove. So you're telling me I can't make Zoe come with me, even though she's been being brainwashed? I would love to send in the heavy mob and shut them tomorrow. But what they're doing's wrong. You can't just let them get away with it. Shh, Ashley. There's no point losing your temper with her. We can monitor them. We gather as much information about them as we can. We've booked them for street trading without a licence, but they're back on the pitch the next day. I can give you the number of a support group who will give you advice. But until they actually seriously step out of line, there's nothing more the police can do. What have I told you about leaving Maud on her own in that shop? I said, what have I told you? Twice I came in this morning, you were nowhere to be seen. I went to see the police about Zoe. What's she gone off with? Eh? I said to Maud, as soon as Zoe goes, they'll notice that one or two valuables have gone with her. She hasn't took anything. I went to see if the police could get her away from them nutters. It's up to Zoe to decide where she lives, not you. Well, you would say that, wouldn't you? You've never wanted us to be together. I think you deserve better, yes. And I've never made a secret of that fact. Well, I couldn't care less what you think. Just keep your opinions to yourself. How did you get on? It's a waste of time. Useless. Oh, come on, Ash. They tried their best. They were very sympathetic. Yeah. Sympathetic and useless. They knew all about them. They knew the techniques and everything. They said that they've been operating in this area for about 12 months. And they still haven't stopped them? They can't stop them. They're not breaking law. They're not using force to make people to join. No, but they target certain types. Use all kind of mind games to get you in. They even brainwash you. But they can't prove any of that. That's the trouble. Yes. 
not going to work. I'm not moping. Thinking about what to do next. Sounds to me like there's not much more you can do short of dragging it back home. As a matter of fact, that's exactly what I'm going to do. What do you mean? Well, it's a waste of time to try to talk to her. Police can't do help. I'm going to have to do something more drastic. Like what? I'm going to snatch you. What, and there's nothing the police can do? They're completely powerless. Well, maybe you should go and see a solicitor then. You know, get some kind of court order out. What for? He's just said they can't do anything. All right. The only way is if I go and drag her back. And how does that work? You just ring up the SAS, do you? I mean me. Well, you can't do it on your own. Well, I can't just sit here doing nothing. For all I know, they could have her out at country. <laughs> well, why would they do that? I'm not making it up. This is what police have said. The loads of folk that's never seen the kids again. The only way is if I take the law into my own hands. Yeah, but suppose she doesn't want to be rescued. She's no choice. I'm just going to grab her. What? Even if she wants to stay? It's for her own good. Yeah, I know it is, Ashley, but... Well, I think the whole lot of them are flaming loonies as well. But shouldn't she have the right to choose? Of her own free will? Free will? She lost that first day she met him. You've seen what she's like, Leanne. She's like a zombie. They've got a brainwash. She's right, you know. I wish I wasn't. But that's long and short of it. Well, I don't see how you're going to kidnap her all on your own. Yeah, but he won't be on his own. Because I'll be helping him. You won't do anything stupid, will you? What do you mean? I was telling Gary, and, well, you read about these things in papers. About what? These cults. They'll do anything to stop you. You won't be able to just go in there and grab her. Sometimes they have guns, or they'll set fire to the place. Well, I won't be on my own. Nicky tells this coming, won't you? Have you thought this out properly? I mean, just the two of you. And what are you going to do when you get her back? You're going to lock her in a bedroom? She might not want to be rescued. Well, I face that when time comes. Don't rush into it. I'd hate for you to get hurt. You, Nick, or Zoe. Look, just think about it. Even if it means waiting a week or a fortnight. Here, glass of water. How's things? Fine. You sure? Yeah. You're brilliant. You know that. To think you've come so far in just a few weeks. No, can hardly believe it myself. It's a bit like, well, like I'm on a journey. You are. And you know who's waiting for you when you get there. Shannon. That's right. If you ever want to go back the way you've come... Ashley, nah. You will tell me, won't you? I don't. But you may do. You might change your mind. I want to be with Shannon again. It will happen. Oh, yeah. But not just yet. Remember, you're still on the journey. There's loads of things for you to learn. I want to learn all there is. And to experience, you have to open yourself. Totally. Not just your mind. Everything. You mean like... Yeah. That's the next step, Zoe. But you needn't worry. I'll take care of you. I know you will. So, when will I be ready for the next step? Well, I think you're ready now. Don't you? Tonight, then. You all right, Ash? Can I get you a pint? No, I'm just looking for my Uncle Fred. I haven't seen him. Hey, is it right what Judy's been telling us? I don't know what you mean, yeah. Think you can pull it off, just you and Nick? You can get a van off me, Uncle Fred. The butcher's van? Well, it's all clean out inside. It was the outside I was thinking of. Well, what do you mean? Well, I thought you were trying to take them by surprise. I am. With Elliot's pies written all over it, what are you going to do, crack on it to deliver it? Well, it'll go mad if you use a spray can. I'll get something from work and cover it up. Will you? Thanks, Gary. And, er, uh, I'm coming with you. I've, I've been telling Zoe about tonight, the next step. Good. It's all right, Zoe. Ben's told me. You don't mind? No, of course not. Why should I? Well, I just thought... 
Well, won't you be jealous? We all have to make sacrifices for Nirab, Zoe. It's his wish that you and Ben should come together. You're brilliant. And as long as we fulfil his wishes, then Ruth's happy, aren't you? Ashley would never get his head round that. Not in a million years. But it's beautiful, isn't it? Like a friendship without jealousy. Poor Ashley. Never mind poor Ashley. I've got to move on and forget him. It's a big step to reject your past. I know, but I want to. And like we said, I'm on a journey. And tonight will be a further stage. But it will make it much more difficult for you to turn back. When the child is born, then the only way is forward. I want Shine to have a baby brother or sister. I'm ready now. Good. Why not tonight, then? After the meeting. So, when we go in Remner? As soon as we've worked out a plan. A couple of days' time. Let's have a look at this plan, then. This meeting room, it's on the uh, ground floor, you say? Aye, uh, just there, right at stairs. And that's the main entrance. What time do they have this service, meeting, whatever they call it? Seven o'clock every night, seven till eight. What do they do after that? They all go off in food truck. What time is it now? Um, quarter past seven. Right, let's go and do it. Tonight? Yeah, catch them by surprise. What do you think they're doing? Oh, it's some kind of soup, I think they're going with. Aye. I was daft enough to give them some food myself. There's no sign of her. Would well, you recognise any of them? Aye. But I can't see Ben or Ruth. Let's just wait here. If she don't come out, I'm going in. No, you're not. Well, she might be tied up or drugged. I don't care. You're not going in there. Nobody is. Do you think they're not ready for someone trying to get in there and snatching the loved ones back? Of course they are. Our best chance is to wait and snatch her while she's outside. She'll probably be locked in the room. You're still not going in. They might look harmless with those tins of beans, but they're not. And they're not stupid either, especially when it comes to protecting their own setup. That's him. Where? Ben and Ruth. But Zoe's not with them. I told you. They've done something too. They've got her tied up somewhere. We don't know that. Then how come she hasn't come out then? Everyone else has. I don't know, but we're still not going inside. We'll come back another night if necessary. I'm going on my own. No, no Ashley, we've got to stick together. We can't take any risks. There's no sign of her. Right, we'll have to leave it then. But what if it's too late? Well, there's nothing more we can do tonight. Stop, stop, I've seen her. Where? There you are. Where have you been? I thought I saw Ashley. Where? No, it's, it's all right, he's gone. Well, it's all quiet now. We've got the house to ourselves. You look beautiful tonight. Really beautiful. Should we go inside? You grab someone. All right, mate. Come on, mate. Let her go. Come on, let her go. Come on, home. Please, don't hit me. Please, don't hit me. It's only what you deserve. Please. Don't you ever go near her again. Good job. What do you think you're doing? Get in. Get in the van, job. Wait. What for? What did you think I was going to do now? Cook your breakfast for you? Do ironing? Pathetic. You drag us in a van, drive off, then lock me in my room all night. What am I going to stick around here for? You've gone right over top this time, Ashley. You walked. Me walked. You want to have a good look at your friends? Uh, yeah, well, I have. And they do go around kidnapping people. They do, of course they do. The only difference is you don't realise it. That's exactly what they're doing, Zoe. They're taking you away. Well, maybe they are, but it's not against me will. No, but it's against mine. Well, I can't help that. Look, 
I know it might seem a bit over the top, but it's for your own sake. My sake? Of course it is. And one day you'll realise... And thank you. Do me a favour. You just treat me like a kid. Because that's all I see. So when you start behaving like an adult, that's when I'll treat you like one. Oh, your kind of adult, you mean. Nobody at Foundation has any trouble seeing me for what I am. They don't treat me like a child. They appreciate what I've got to offer. Well, that Ben does, I can see that. Oh, that's typical. You just can't get past the sex, can you? Me behave like a child. Take a look in the mirror, Ashley. You're just a spoiled little kid that's had his toy taken away from him and doesn't like it. No, she's not. Hello? Hiya, Ben. No, I'm fine, thanks. Yeah. No, neither do I. I don't think they knew what they were doing. Right. Tonight. Yeah, that's brilliant. OK. See you later. Bye. What do you mean, see you later? I said, what do you mean? I heard you. Ben's coming over tonight. He's not. Ashley, don't be a pillock. You can't keep me prisoner all my life. Ben's coming round to pick me up tonight. We're going away. Can you not see what he's done? He's driven a wedge between us. No, he's not. He has. He hasn't. Because he went out there to start with. You don't mean that. Look. <sighs> this makes me sound like a right hard-faced cow, and I don't want to because I'm grateful. Well, we never had nothing, did we? Yeah. Of course we do, we do. We haven't. You took pity on me, that's all. I love you. And I love Shannon. Yeah, well, we all did. This is what it's about, isn't it? A baby. Well, I've told you we can have a baby. I don't want to talk about it. I'm going away. Going away? America. Don't go. Ashley. Please. I know you're saying we're not getting on, but we are. You don't realise what you mean to me. Stop it! Well, what if you're making a mistake? All right, you're fed up with me, but don't move away from me, yeah? Then you can always come back if you change your mind. I'm not making a mistake. I'm doing what's best for me. And I'm doing what's best for you and all. Me? Yeah, you. Ashley, I'm not for you. You want someone nice, someone that appreciates you. I don't. You wasted on me. Don't say that. I'm not good enough for you. You are. Don't run yourself down. All right. I'm not running myself down. We're not suited. But it's not me, it's you. Me? Yeah. Ashley, you're a lovely bloke. You're good, you're kind, caring, considerate. You're everything a woman finds boring. I've got devils inside me screaming to get out. Everybody's got them. Well, maybe not devils, but things they want to do. Mad things, exciting things, dangerous things. Inside you, there's this little old lady going, oh, can you shut the door, please? Look, I'm not trying to work you. I'm trying to help you. You've got a funny way of showing it. Like I said, you're a lovely bloke. But you come on more like a mum than a boyfriend. When we go out, I half expect you to ask me if I've got a clean anky. And this is helping? Yeah. Cos you'll meet other girls. Girls that'll love you for your kindness. But they'll look elsewhere for their excitement. Do you see what I'm saying? You've got to change. Otherwise, you're going to go through life having your heart broken. Just like I'm doing it now. Get strong, Ashley. Get a life. I'll make the tea. Might have known you'd be over at some point. Well, I don't like springing surprise on people. Can I sit down? Yeah. If you're sure I can get back up again. I think I'll be all right. So, what do you want? What do you think? I'm going. That's it. No chit-chat. You're making a mistake. Well, I don't think I am. Zoe, you're running away from reality. Yeah, well, what's reality ever done for me? Reality. Reality put me in care. It killed me, baby. Look, Zoe, I know that you've had it tough, but this isn't the way to deal with it. And those people, your friends, they talk a load of rubbish. Like my social workers. They'll let you down. Like my social workers. What if there's no difference? Then why go with them? I'm not saying there's no difference. You are. 
Look, you say they talk a load of rubbish and they'll let me down. I don't think they will. You can't believe all that stuff. Can you? Yeah. You don't, do you? You don't believe it. Look, Zoe, if you're not convinced, then stay here with us. I never said I didn't believe it. You don't have to. It's written all over your face. Stay here with us. Zoe. 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 Look, I've never had a family. I've always lived sort of in groups. This is just the same. Only these people love me. They care for me. But all that stuff about the baby, you can't believe that. You had Shannon Kristen, didn't you? Why was that? Because it was the proper thing to do. And you believed that, pouring on water and all that. You believed it. Well, I don't know. It's not the same. There's not wrong with believing, is there? No. Of course there isn't. But it's... What? As long as it's something you agree with? Look, I believe I'm going to see Shannon again. You believe what you want, and I can believe what I want. All right? All right. But what about Ashley? Doesn't he deserve something? Yeah, he does. Someone better than me. Look after him for me. Face all the tidings of comfort and joy. Sorry, what are you doing? Where are you going? I'm going. Where? I'm going. For good. Ashley?